everyone, it's Evan from the Fun Robotics Network. I'm here with Team 8738 Slice. This is a team that ranked number one at Wake, has produced con competitive robots for the past few years very successfully. In this episode of Behind the Bumpers, we'll be looking at their end effector, their hopper, their deep climb, and their trampoline, and all the autonomous that uh, controls that make in to going this machine work. This is going to be another great year for them. They have been ranked one at Wake, and they're ranked two currently here at Mecklenburg. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest. All right, Jamit, if you can go ahead and tell us a bit more about the elevator and the ramp that you have here. Yeah, so starting off with the ramp, uh, we have a pivoting ramp here. Uh, and the reason we decided to do that was because we wanted to fit uh, our deep climb and we knew that the chain would be in the way and just wouldn't work out for us. And so uh, if we want to enable and uh, get that through, yeah. And so uh, that once that uh, passes off to our end effector, uh, this elevator here um, is an internally belted continuous elevator that we uh, can extend up to L4 in around, um, I would say around 0 0.75 seconds. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty low maintenance for us. Um, yeah. Is this fully custom? Is that a yes. custom gearbox I so see down there? So here, yes, uh, fully custom gearbox, and it's geared around um, four to one. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you. If Ben, if you can talk a little bit more about the end effector and the deep climb. Yeah. So this is our end effector. Um, it is on a pivot, so that way we don't have to do any funky angle stuff with L4. Um, we are using a um, double-sided belt here, so that way we don't need any gears to switch the direction between these two rollers for intaking the coral. Um, this belt helps us save weight because in this game with the weight limit reduction, it's like weight is key. Um, so yeah, that's basically the end effector. All right, if you can tell me a bit about your deep climb then. Yeah, so if you want to... Yep. So our deep climb has gone through a bunch of iterations. Um, in CAD, we first started out with an EveryBot style climber. Um, that wouldn't work with our center of gravity, so we switched it to a Penn State style climber, and we actually built that. It didn't work out how we wanted. So finally, we landed on the um, high tide style deep climb. Um, we're using these torsion springs down here. It's just bent piano wire and um, it's being winched down on this hex shaft and that helps us keep it like rock, like you can't move it at all when the robot's enabled or disabled. All right, and I notice you have a ton of bungee cords down here. Can you tell me a bit about what's going on with all these? Yes, so with the bungee cords um, in our, one of our playoff matches at our last event, we had a coral get stuck in here. So we decided that we wanted to use bungee cords to help, you know, reject the coral. So if it's down there, we can just bring up the climber and um, when we drive, it'll just fall right out and any one of the exit points. Awesome, that's a really cool design I have not seen before. Gabe, if you want to talk a little bit more about the controls and that and everything that went to making this robot a reality. Yeah, so something that we're really proud of with this robot is our auto alignment when with the reef. So actually over here on the computer, our operator is able to select any one of the 12 nodes on the reef. And then when the driver presses a button, our robot automatically positions to that point and extends the elevator up to 
one of the four levels which is selected on the directional pad of our controller. So what are you using to make this auto align reality? Are you using limelights, orange pie with cameras? Yeah, so we have three limelights. We have one up here, which is used to see the uh, April tags on the source intake. We also have two limelights down here. The reason we chose two is so that way, no matter which of the two nodes on each face of the reef we are facing, we also always have at least one April tag in the center of our vision. So that way we can get the best data possible in order to know where we are. Awesome, that's really cool. I noticed you guys have a ton of custom stuff on this robot. So what type of work did you do? How much automation did were you able to put into this robot? Uh, on top of the drivetrain and elevator, we also have this end effector, which uses LiDAR sensors in order to automatically align this coral. So you can see as I pull out, it automatically pulls it back in. Or if I were to push it in, it automatically pulls it out to keep it. Well. And do you use these in auto when intaking from the human player station? Yes. Perfect. All right. Thank you, guys. You guys have done have a super impressive robot so far. You've done fantastic so far in the season. So I wish you guys the best of luck here at Mecklenburg. I have a, I'm very confident you guys will continue to do very well here and at state championship. So thank you guys so much. And this was Team 8738 Slice on Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com contest. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.